Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying to quote unquote fix Balgrounds. Or more specifically, I'll be offering what type of fixes I think could quite easily and straightforward make Balgrounds much more enjoyable. Still, still leave some monetization aspect in there for Kabam because that is something that everybody always kind of like jumps about in comment section. But that Kabam need to pay their bills and so on and so forth. And basically actually transform Balgrounds into... A game mode that does reward you for doing the best for beating other players, but also gives rewards to people who just play Balgrounds more casually and who might not be able to compete for the top spots, but still make it worthwhile for those players as well. So first, before anything else, we need to identify current problems with Balgrounds. And in reality, there are only three, but all of those three are absolutely massive. Number one biggest problem is Elder Marks. And the way they currently function the fact that your regular energy matches basically do not count for anything worthwhile because rank rewards are meaningless only meaningful rewards are in the rank rewards of solo event and alliance event and that's it so it's kind of pointless to play balgrounds with energy only because you're not making any progress for the better rewards in this game mode so solutions here are very easy but first let's identify the second problem and the second problem is just as i mentioned the fact that all the best rewards are rank rewards and that is the factor that forces people to grind as hard as it does because all of these rank reward systems always capitalize on fomo on fear of missing out it's the same thing that we have in arenas why cutoffs keep increasing to ungodly amounts and this is the same thing what we have with gifting event where you do not have a set goal to achieve and no matter how many points you have you can't escape that feeling that there is somebody mysterious shadowy figure in the background grinding away while you sleep and it keeps you up at night and it makes you to grind more and more and more arena points because you do not want to miss out on that champion and the similar situation here would be the same with Balagrant. No matter how many matches you play, you will not be able to escape that feeling that somebody else is playing more matches, doing them faster, has found a more effective way, and you never feel safe, and you never know when to stop, or how much to plan, and you always are encouraged to just get in there. Which is, again, something that perhaps arguably works for Arena, even though a lot of people have asked for that to be changed, but it definitely shouldn't be a factor in Balgrounds. So, that's going to be the second thing that we address. This unknown fear of missing out because it's rank rewards and there are no set objectives and the third and perhaps most important thing for a lot of players right now is the fact that uh, sorry rank rewards just do not matter there is no incentive for you to rank up highly there just isn't all of these rank rewards are absolutely laughable for being the best you get basically nothing you get everything for grinding the most so we need to give incentive to actually for people to try and push up as high as possible. So first things, let's return to Elder's Mark system. And uh, that I propose two fixes, one of whom I think is more realistic, one of whom I don't think is that realistic, but would definitely be preferred by player base. The first obvious fix with Elder's Marks that a lot of people want to happen is just get rid of them altogether. And that would immediately improve this event tenfold for an average player. Just make all the fights with energy. And that's it. No need for all this marks. It just unnecessarily complicates things and obviously adds a huge monetization aspect. However, then everybody's going to shout, but Kabam needs to make money. Well, first of all, I do think that Balagrounds generates enough money even without being directly overly monetized because we're still going to have reshuffle signals, these victory tokens. And people don't understand that Balgrounds perhaps is the biggest factor in people's desire to acquire rank of materials and also chase new champions that will be good for Balgrounds. Because if Balgrounds are popular and everybody wants to play Balgrounds, then you will always want to rank up new and more champions because metas are changing every week. And overall, that is pretty much what has happened to any player that I know. They want to rank up more champions, they have started spending more money or grinding harder in order to acquire rank of materials. So just by existing and being popular and being well organized, Balgrounds will would already earn Kabam a ton of money without being overly directly monetized in itself. But if that answer is not good enough, 
and then we can propose an alternative or so. You see, you should have regular energy matches count for anything the same as the Elder's Mark matches, but give a 50% point premium in the solo and alliance events if you play a match with Elder's Marks, so you will be able to grind your milestones quicker, number one, and also give a 50% point premium in the ranking ladder. You see, right now, if you win a match against an opponent, all other things being equal, let's say you get 15 points. And if you lose a match against him, you lose 15 points. But let's say to give extra value to Elder Marks, you can let that person win, let's say, 22 points if you use Elder Marks instead of 15. So that means that that person will be able to retain higher rating with worse win to loss ratio. And that I think is kind of like compromise that's worthwhile to make. Person who is willing to shell out for Elder's Marks will get all of the milestone rewards quicker, will get all the Alliance milestone rewards quicker, and will also have easier time maintaining their rating in the leaderboard, fighting for rank rewards once they are actually improved enough to be worth anything. So again, the base point is that if you enter a match with Elder's Marks, you get a 50% point premium in solo and alliance events, and you also get a 50% victory bonus in your ranking. So instead of winning 15 points, you win 22 points. And so that means that, whereas previously, if you won a match and lost a match, you basically started where, well, you finished where you started. But if you played those matches with Elder's Marks, if you won a match and if you lost a match, then you'd still have made a slight progress and netted like seven points. But still, if you lose two matches and win one match, you're nowhere closer to the top. And it will still effectively help people who want to spend retain higher ratings, but it will not enable people who are unable to compete in any other means to be at the top of the leaderboard. I think it's a worthwhile alternative. Uh, that could work. Uh, rest of the things being kept the same. Second problem to address as I mentioned, is this FOMO, fear of missing out, the fact that there is no set amount of points, there's no goal, no target, and no matter how many points you put up, you're just encouraged to grind more and more and more because you're always thinking that somebody else will. Well, the solution for that is super simple. Just get rid of rank rewards. That's it. Distribute half or so of the rewards that are in the rank rewards in the higher milestones and that's it then you're going to give players a choice how much they want to play which milestone they want to reach whether they can reach those milestones and keep in mind they can get there using energy refills they'll just have to play more and spend a crap ton of energy or smaller amount of elders marks but they will have set goal and set target now why i said put half or so rewards because i do still suggest that in order to address the third point, we need to take majority of the rewards in the rank rewards for solo event and for alliance event and put them in Gladiator Circuit victory brackets, extend these brackets to, I don't know, 30, 40, 50, 60,000 people instead, and then put those rewards here in order to be actually encouraged to rank as highly as possible because again right now you're not right now these rewards are meaningless and what you are actually encouraged to do is get to gladiator circuit tank down using energy and then using elders marks just get easy wins and grind the points for this event so if we take away rank rewards from this event we automatically eliminate the fear of missing out we automatically eliminate that unknown factor if all of the rewards or most of the rewards that we see here are in actual milestones, even if it is grindy, even if it is not as easy, achie easily achievable to most players, at least they know where the line is drawn and how to get there and how much work will it take. Then they can decide whether they want to get there using Elder's Marks 
and grind less, or whether they want to get there using energy and grind more. And yeah, and then take significant amount of rewards that we do have in these rank rewards, and we didn't put in the milestones, and put in the Gladiator Circuits rank rewards to make it so that no matter anything else, no matter how grindy you were, no matter whether you are in alliance or you're not in alliance, if you are performing well in Battlegrounds, you earn the biggest rewards. Because at the moment, the actual rank rewards account for about 5% of the total rewards that we have in the game mode. That is absolutely wrong. Where you rank at end of the season should be by far where you get most of the rewards. If you can rank up higher, you get more rewards. If you rank up lower, you get less rewards. But you still get rewarded appropriate to your final ranking. So with all three of these changes, we still maintain some advantage to paying players. In addition to the victory shields and the shuffle signets and bigger rosters and everything else, paying players can get all the solo and alliance event milestones quicker. Paying players will have easier time ranking up highly on top of benefiting from the larger accounts. But people can still grind out those events. They know exactly where they stand, how much time they would need to invest. And they are always motivated to perform their best and rank up as highly as possible. And that would return Battleground back down to its essence being a solo competitive mode where the most important thing by far is where you rank among your fellow players on the global leaderboard. And again, by still keeping solo event and alliance event, just with reduced rewards and with no rank rewards, you still encourage people to play Battlegrounds, to grind them out, have fun, whatever else, in a way that they are able to do so, even if they can't climb to top 5,000 in global rankings, they can still get meaningful rewards from solo and alliance events that would include the rank 4 materials and whatnot in the high milestones if they put in the work. And yeah, that is pretty much straightforward. Those are the only three changes they would make. So make sure that energy counts for any and all events. Elders marks give 50% bonus on your win loss rating and 50% bonus to your points for solo events and alliance events. Take all of the rank rewards, put them in top of milestones and you know start incorporating him to the high, them to the higher milestones where people have a clear line drawn how much work and effort they need to put in the game mode and put in majority of those rank rewards in the actual rank rewards. Everything else after that, you know, I think would be relatively minor as far as issues go, like overpriced rank four materials here or 4,000 units for deck slots and things like that. I think these three things at large would pretty much sort out majority of the problems players have with Balgrounds right now. Let me know what you guys think and I'm gonna catch you guys later. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about